you'll know when I don't care anymore. You'll know when just I be like it is what it is. Like I don't even the type of person I am. I give and I give until I just feel like I can't anymore. And sometimes I may go past my limit of feeling like I can't do it anymore. But it's something that just I'm just a given person. And sometimes that can be like a, a smack in the face or like fuck up type of feeling. But I give until I can't give anymore. Treehouse Show. You just listened to Even Loving by yours truly. I'm your host, Gartasia, and you are tapped into the Trillist Podcast in the universe. Today, 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 we have an extremely serious, while at the same time, information-packed panel for y'all. You feel me? Because we're about to deliver that serious knowledge that y'all been fiending for all week. You, I walk around this world you feel me? I see a lot of people glued to their phones. I see a lot of people tripping, not watching where they walk. I see a lot of people avoiding eye contact, scared to be outside. You feel me? And I ask myself, what is up with all of this anxiousness? What's up with all this anxiety? What's up with all of this suffering? It's so clear to see that this is coming from suffering. Then I get to ask myself, would these people be acting this way if they felt love in their life? Would these people be acting this way if they felt confident in who they are? Would these people be acting this way if they had support from the people they needed it from? And I get to ask myself, and I, it was no every time. It was no, they wouldn't be acting like this, right? So I start looking into it and I'm asking myself, how can, or what is the reason why people aren't feeling that love that we all need as human beings? Love is one of the most highest, it is the highest vibration. It's the highest frequency to, to vibrate on in this mug. And people is missing the vibes. People aren't becoming a vibe, you feel me? And a lot of people, they get in a vibe sucked out of them, not in a good way, a lot of times through relationships. That's toxic, you feel me? And it got me asking a question. This is not a clickbait. You know me, I'm not known for clickbaiting people. You feel me? I'm not known for that. So, love hurting. Should love hurt? If your love is hurting, is it love? Is your love hurt and the reason why you vibrate in low and you feel low. Is that the reason why? We gonna answer these questions today with our amazing panel, you feel me? They came here for one thing only, to chew bubble gum and to spit facts. And that's why they're here. If the Afro and the, the black, you feel me, and the, and the pumps weren't enough to show the seriousness, then I'm here to tell y'all. But without further ado, I'm going to let this beautiful panel introduce themselves. Starting from you. Name, fun fact, age, relationship status. Hi, my name is Indica India. I am 24. My real name is India. I'm a Chicago artist out on all streaming platforms. I-N-D-I-C-A, I-N-D-I-A. And my relationship status is that I'm in a relationship. <laughs> and my name is Michaela, but my artist name is K-Cap. Y'all can also find me on all streaming platforms. I am 23, and, um, yeah, that was it, right? <laughs> Relationship status. I said I was taken. Okay. Yes. Making sure. I'm taken. <laughs> For these mumbles uh, on Mr. Instagram. Mr. Rico LaBerge. <laughs> That's my man. You want to know. If that's anybody want to know, that's my man. That's my man. Oh, that's yes. my ex. That's, that's my man. Yeah. Yes. Bro, I don't know you. You funny wrong. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I want, it. I want you to know. I want let, it. Him, hey, let him know. This is what she said. No. I've been like, saying it, baby. I've been saying it. I'm crying. But that's what we need. We, we need the support. You feel me? Go mm -hmm. ahead, Ebony. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Ebony V. Uh, I'm a singer. Uh, I'm 25. Fun fact, full fact is uh, I'm allergic to cold weather, like I said, <laughs> and um, my relationship status would be uh, exclusively dating. Oh, yeah, I we, we did say our fun you. fact. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys heard, but my fun fact was that I can say hello in seven different languages. Go ahead. And, yeah, I can dance my ass off. I'm gonna need a sample of that seven different languages. Oh, okay. Hello, English, Konnichiwa, um, Ni Hao, Anyang. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Hola. <laughs> and Jumbo. What language is Jumbo? Swahili. 
What? You're right, yeah. Is it Jumbo or Mumbo? I thought it was Jumbo, not like, hello, hello, oh, Jumbo, yeah, not Jumbo. Toto. So. Okay. Is that like a Kwanzaa song? Yeah. Type no, shit. I don't know if it's a Kwanzaa song, but <laughs> it's a Swahili song. <laughs> Every beat. It's funny as hell. Okay. Um, Rico, I'll box the network, man, Keyboard. just being a bug. Listen, honestly, bro, I love that you support your lady, bro. We need more of this, so it's giving me life. Um, So we're going to jump right into it. I love that he on here, too. He gonna, I'm going to be reading your comments, my boy. Hey, um, <laughs> just roll up. What up, shawty? So, does love hurt? Sometimes. Elaborate. Um, I done had past relationships that tried to tear me down, so. I mean, I always come back on top, and at the end of the day, Y'all gonna miss me when I'm gone. But it's cool, cause like, I'm happy where I'm at. Was it love though? I mean, that's really what I wanna say. Like, love is a very, yeah, like, it's, it's a word, it's a four letter mm -hmm. word, but, but it's, it's a very, like, yeah. like broad mm -hmm. statement. And like, there's so many different types of, like, explanations mm -hmm. for someone who says, like, what love is to them because it's what they was taught or what they think what was love, so. Right. Mm. But what about you? Was was that love to you? I feel like it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Because if it was love, I, you know, it would have lasted. But, I mean, mm. like I, again, like I said, thank you for bringing me to the person I am with right now. So we good. <laughs> so if it was love, it would have lasted, but it still might have hurt. Mm, I feel like love shouldn't or doesn't hurt. I feel like some things that may happen within the relationship or mm -hmm. within that might hurt. For example, yeah. like certain expectations that you may have, someone may not be at that level and that might hurt you, like make you feel some type of way and you may not know how to react to it or put your best foot forward with that situation. But I feel like love, I don't feel like love hurts. I, I mm. agree with that. Love is is something that should be a positive feeling. Love should never hurt. Mm. Like what you experience with that person in a relationship those experiences they may have moments where that hurts yeah but when you love you should never experience a th or have that thought in your mind or i love this person because they're they're holding me or they're fucking me or they're mm -hmm. doing this certain thing for me but it hurts mm -hmm. that makes no sense yeah what it is is i love everything that they're doing for me but they hurt me when they do these other mm -hmm. actions so that's why I say like love is a broad statement, but it should never hurt. Love has always been a positive word. We teach children that, and we learn that, that love. When someone says, I love you, some mm -hmm. people take offense when you say, because I do sometimes, like, I you know what I'm saying? When you say, love you instead of, I love, I love you. Like, you. I said, I love you. Oh. Like, mm -hmm. instead of love you, mm -hmm. because sometimes it's, it's deeper. Like, I said, yeah, it could be a broader meaning, mm -hmm. yeah. but it should never Even hurt. Even if it's like a you, mm -hmm. I feel like, <laughs> like a <laughs> Like, love you too. What? Yeah. But no, it should never hurt. Like, everything that you should experience with a person should be your experience, and it's going to be like a roller coaster. That's mm -hmm. life. You are a human. There's going to, I teach the kids at my school that any emotion that you feel, you're going to feel it. But when it comes down to love, like, you're, like it, it should never hurt. That's mm -hmm. one thing that should never hurt. But being in a relationship, yeah, it may hurt sometimes, yeah. depending on your relationship. And some people mask it. But especially when you're starting dating, like it's gonna be a lot of things, and especially now in this generation, like it's a lot of experiences that you have with other people, and you want to start off with love, you want to start off mm -hmm. with that, but you may start off with being cautious yeah. and are already thinking negative, already backtracking or thinking of the past instead of perceiving this person as who they are mm -hmm. and not someone else or who you love. You know what I mean? Because you may think that that person is who you love. And so that's who you want to see. But if they have the bad that you've already had in the past, then is that love? Like, it's, mm. it's a lot exactly. of things. Yeah. That and it's like so much that. you can go off of, like, even dealing with a person. Mm -hmm. Basically, like, again, how their actions, um, mm -hmm. you know, affect you. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, love is a big word. That's why I'm not even gonna lie. I put loyalty over love. That's also with my next album gonna be about the RB album. It's called Loyalty Over Love. It's coming out real soon. So yeah. Mm. But I can say that it's those are two those that can go hand in hand as well because mm -hmm. you should love me enough to be loyal to me. Mm -hmm. No matter yeah. what. Like loyalty mm -hmm. and love start with L, ironically, but they can go hand in hand. They can correlate for sure because I love motherfucker. I'm not gonna cross you because I love you. Exactly. Yeah. 
respecting or with that as well. Yeah. Like I respect you. I, it could be like, but that could be a broad word too. Like fuck you, but I respect you type mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But if I love you, I'm going. Uh, my loyalty should already lie right yeah. then and there. Exactly. It should already lie. Like mm-hmm. that should already be. It's it's an unspoken rule, an unwritten rule. So yep. yeah, that can go ahead. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine said a L for loyalty and an L for love. That make a W. That's a win. A mm-hmm. win. Mm-hmm. That's right? why I say every loss is a lesson. Yeah. It's not. It's not to me a loss. Mm-hmm. It's a Jewelry. lesson. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not losing. How the fuck is that? How am I, how am I losing? I just learned something. That's mm-hmm. why you. It's okay to fail. I, that's why science is a thing. We teach kids science experiments. You have trials. You may fail with that trial, but you're gonna keep going because you want to get that one result. Mm-hmm. So, trial and error. It's okay. Speak on that. It's okay. How important is trial and error? Very. Very important. I mean, how are you going to know I, how are you going to know how to tie your shoe? How are you going to know how to draw something? How are you going to know how to speak if you me- if you don't know how to mess up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes you do a speech, I get nervous. I'm rapping. Mm-hmm. I may stutter a word a, a, a song like even right now. I may stutter a word or a song that I know. But I'm learning, all right? Maybe because I was nervous in that moment or yeah. shit. I was excited. I was doing too much. Mm-hmm. It's about learning. You are gonna have to trip and fall to get everything falls apart before it gets better. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Ashe, uh, we gonna take a little break. Look at the comments. I know y'all are going crazy. Let see. I know Rico already says something. <laughs> <laughs> um, BNF, yo gang, love, love, love. Uh, some people was raised off so this is from Rico some people was raised off tough love and some was raised off nurturing mm-hmm, love mm-hmm. speak on it that's facts it depends on how mm-hmm. the person was raised you right yeah, I'm mm-hmm. bored or, oh, yeah, right, you're right there right. Um, now nah, you're right yeah tough love nurturing love yeah I mean I feel like both of them have their place what a podcast mm-hmm. guest of mine said something that really blew me away she was like if it's love it doesn't hurt Right, and then she was like, "If you love yourself, you wouldn't hurt yourself. Thank you. mm-hmm. So if you claim you love somebody else, you wouldn't hurt them. So someone mm-hmm. who hurts you, who claims they love you, they either don't love themselves or they don't love you. Right. And I was like, "That's deep." That is true, though. What y'all think about that? You definitely. I think that's true. I feel like you should definitely love yourself. That's the only way you're able to love the next person. Like, how can you love the next person if you don't love yourself? You pouring so much to the, to this next person, but you never even took the time to pour into yourself. So you don't even know what exactly you're pouring into that next person. You what do you think, Ebony? I feel like... I don't know. I feel like you can also maybe not love yourself and still love somebody based off of... You saw the other part. Just based off of, uh, like, for example, I know I love based off how I want to be loved, and I feel like how people should be treated. And I don't know. I just lost my train of thought just now. But no, I actually no, yeah. I really do get that. Like, it's the same way with me. Like, I give come off with that same type of energy. Like, it's just genuine. I want to see you happy. I'm person who's just like to see people happy. So, mm-hmm. shoot. If I can show you how to be happy, or if I can show you that, all right, I'm a person who can make you happy. Like, I don't know. It just gives me pleasure to do that. To do that. Mm-hmm. Well, I've learned that, and I'm still learning because I'm only 24. But I've learned that when you do that, you like it is right to love yourself first, mm-hmm. because when we pour into other people, we start. Sometimes you get that reciprocation. Mm-hmm. But also, you we know. have people who are leeches or mooches, mm-hmm. smooches. Oh, yeah, mooches. I was right. Yep. Um, Hopefully. That, <laughs> um, or freeloaders that yeah. really want to take that because they need that as well. Misery loves company. Mm-hmm. So they want that. And you're going to give it because you want that as well. Mm-hmm. But when you learn that nobody can be you yeah. in life, because nobody is you. You are you. No matter what, you are you. So... It, once you realize, like, damn, this, I don't went all out for this person's birthday, or I went all out for a party, or maybe I just get a random gift just because, and they didn't do it for me, or maybe I said this to this person and I literally said it, I gave you multiple hints, but you're not saying it to me, but you're learning that, first of all, you're not even me, like we're two different people, mm-hmm. we may align, we may cross paths. 
you may even be my my twin flame my soulmate but we're two different people we're in two different lanes mm-hmm. so it's all about understanding that person but loving you first because when you love you first then you can teach that person how your boundaries what you want in life mm-hmm. and what you want in this certain relationship because relationships mm-hmm. can be platonic duh yeah. i have friends mm. it's a friend so what do you want in that like i want respect i want loyalty I mm-hmm. want these things, but I know that I'm a loyal person. So, naturally, because I know I'm doing that. Like, I think sometimes with my heart and also my brain. So, it's always sometimes a clash because it's like, I know I shouldn't do this for this person in your mind. But in reality, do it. I mean, if that's how you love, that's how you show your love, then do it. But don't expect them, if you already know their patterns, to uh, reciprocate that same energy because mm-hmm. we're not mirrors. Yeah. Like I look when I look in the mirror, I look I see me. When I look in the mirror, and someone's next to me, I see them. I don't see them in front of me. So in that, you have to understand how to love yourself and then know who you are, so that you know what you want. Because then I know what kind of friend I want. I know what kind of uh, partner I want. I know what kind of job I want. Right now, we all are in a realm where we may be stuck at a job, but this is what we have to do for right now. Mm-hmm. But you know what you want. You know that this boss is talking shit, and they shouldn't be talking like that. Talking to me, talking to me like that, because of the fact that I can actually do this shit better than you. You sitting on your ass. <laughs> but it's about learning how to love yourself and be like, you know what? Fuck this job. I may do it myself. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm about to open up a better business than yours. Things like that, like learning how to love yourself, to know how to value yourself. Because when you put yourself on the same pedestal as that person, after a while, you're gonna be like, whole town, I'm up here. Yeah. yeah. In my mind, I'm not saying that I'm the shit to in the whole world. It's yeah. over seven billion of us. But you at that. But I'm in my level. I'm in my own lane where it don't matter. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love you, or I respect you, cause I I I know that my heart wants to do every single thing that we do. We give gifts. We say loving things. We support. We pull up. Mm-hmm. But we may be shitty when that person don't pull up. When they don't support. When they don't do the same thing. Yeah. But when you learn that pattern, like we, our origin are, are our parents. Your first love, your siblings. Yep. Mm-hmm. When you start to learn their pattern, I mean, shit, it still bites us in the ass, cause that's how we love. Yeah. But in that, when you start to love yourself, like you know what? Once I figure out how you are, I know I can avoid you, or avoid that drama. Yeah. And still love you, and still pour into do what I do. You don't have to change your pattern of love, cause that's how you love. Mm-hmm. But. You still want to be able to know, like, okay, I know you, so you know what? I'm gonna fuck with you on Tuesday, cause sometimes on Tuesdays you, you know, you in a good mood. Well, yeah. Yeah. Or I know that around Thanksgiving we should not go over that family member's house. Yep. But I fuck with you probably on, you know, you know, the holidays, cause that certain family probably finna come back from the city or something, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or I I know that you probably I love you. I'm married to you. So I know it's it's what what they do Sunday uh, football. You gonna do the most when it's Sunday football, but all week you was my friend. So you know what? I'm make sure I got my own shit going on, because I know that you're not gonna do the same thing that I'm gonna do that day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking so of learning. football, I was listening to a podcast by Stephen A. Smith. You know him. He's like the big sports broadcaster, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he said something really interesting. He was like, he gets motivated by the chip on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. And then he was he was talking about how people look at it as a bad thing. But he was talking about how he spent time with Kobe. He spent time with LeBron. Like, all these A players. Mm-hmm. And he said they all have a chip on their shoulder. But he said some people wear it on their sleeve. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's deep. Mm-hmm. Basically, what he was saying is that some people, like, they make it more obvious. Or that's all they do yeah. is, like, them motherfuckers, that teacher, when my, my dad, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. that's, that's it? Like yeah. that's, that's all you got. Yeah, all you, know you, got what I'm you don't want to feed your like, kids. You don't want to like like, like buy a, a crib for your mom. It's just all soft. Right. But but bringing that analogy to love, right? I feel like some people glamorize or romanticize the hard parts of love. Right. We romanticize the struggle. Mm. Right. Which I feel like the struggle mm-hmm. is a is a means to an end. Mm-hmm. But some people make it the end. Yeah. You feel me? And I feel like, yes, commitment can be hard. Yes, loyalty can be a motherfucker. You feel me? A lot of temptation out there. Yes, like, communication can slap you in the face. Mm-hmm. But 
I feel like we don't give enough pedestal to the good parts, to the times that we do appreciate, right? Mm-hmm. And I was watching this movie called Good Will Hunting. It's an old movie, but it's about this this kid, this city kid, and he's having a hard time going to therapy because he's he's this loudmouth city kid who don't like to be told what to do. Mm-hmm. And then there's this impactful scene. He's he's like in the hood with his homies all his life. And then there's this one scene where he's like, oh, I don't want to go to the, like, he gets this opportunity to, like, work at a high-paying job and lead a city. And he's thinking that his friend's going to be, like, wanting him to stay. And then his friend looks at him and tells him, like, bro, it actually hurts me every day when I go to your crib and I see you still at the crib. Because, mm-hmm. honestly, like, you had the most potential out of all of us, but why mm-hmm. you still here. Mm-hmm. And it, it hit me like, man, is that love? Is that love mm-hmm. that you love somebody so much that you want to let them go? What do y'all think about that? Do y'all think true love is like one and what's best for that person in spite of yourself? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's in spite. We can can perceive it as in spite because it does hurt when you have to let that person go. Mm -hmm. But in reality, peace is very important. So if you feel as though I love you so much that I see the potential in you, but you don't see it in yourself. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, which is an amazing way to start, and maybe even I could push you and yeah. try to get you get your ass up out that chair, out the house, and make you go out. Yeah. But then after that, what what's next? Not yeah. to mention, a lot of people, like for example, a grown man, you can't tell a grown man what the hell to do. Yeah, no. Yeah. The same as a woman. You may sometimes we are submissive, but instinctively you cannot tell no, me what the fuck to do. Mm-mm. Like, instinctively, it's it's your tone. It's the way you're going to go. Mm-hmm. But if you love me enough to tell me, like, bro, you fucking up. And it's how I perceive it. So it can't be in spite unless they're spiteful. And they're saying, all right, fuck you too then. Yeah. I didn't even, I love you. I wasn't even saying fuck you. I'm just saying you need to work on yourself right now. And you are kind of poisonous to me right now. Mm-hmm. And maybe even venomous, cause you you biting me right now by saying fuck me, cause I'm really trying to love you, like I'm really trying to see the best in you, to see the good in you, and see like the potential that you have, that you know you probably have in yourself, but you don't have the drive right now. You're yeah. the like they say, idle man is the devil's playground. Yeah. So after a while, once you just let that chip on your shoulder, like you say, may even fall to your sleeve. I don't know how I'm gonna get to work. I don't know how I'm gonna feed myself. But you can you can make sure you got you a blunt or sit there. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But you make a way every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A grown person gonna always make a way every time. Even, even homeless people make a way. They make a way. It's unfortunate mm-hmm. because you ever they seen can have people help. In love? Hell yeah, they be in love. 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 They be in love. Just today, like under the vibe. Like you just said, good example. They they proceed. That's a good example of the struggle. Look, no, let me tell you, cause I got a um uncle and um he was from the west side. They was I ain't gonna lie, he was okay known him and his girl and everybody knew you know whatever he had going on, whatever he had going on. Uncle Shadow, (laughs) man, great man, for real, love for real. Let me tell you, man. Every time you seen a video with them, he was with his girl and let me tell you, they was cutting up. They was cutting up every time you seen them. Whether they was into it or they was just being friendly and cool. Look, they was cutting up though. And they was showing each other love despite anything that was going on. Struggle. <laughs> that's what that is. No, for real. Because that's all you see is that person. At this point, look at us struggling together. Look at us. Look at us. Crazy. It's but I, crazy. We but we gonna do this up, together. But I love you. But it's like, like we say, it's how you perceive it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say it's in spite. But yeah. I, in a way, sometimes we that's sometimes my first instinct because it's like, damn, that shit hurt that I had to let them go because now I feel like a bad friend yeah. or a, a bad sibling. Well, I mean, not, not me. It's not about me. But, you know, <laughs> I'm giving examples. A bad sibling, um, a bad wife or, or a, a bad co-worker, anything. You can be like, you can think, you can beat yourself down, but you can also love yourself enough to be like, well, shit, they stressed me the fuck out, though. Like, maybe yeah. they need this time. Mm-hmm. And mm. I always say, to people that I really genuinely feel like it's gonna happen. I'm saying we gonna cross paths again soon. Yeah. And it's true. Cause if the universe wants us to cross paths again soon, trust me, it's gonna I'm gonna see you again. Yep. Nah, for real. Um, let's show love to the comments. Hey, Kayla, uh, Misery Lust Company. Facts. Facts. 
Eat them up, eat them up. Eat them up. Die, that's die. Everyone looks beautiful. Mm, Thank I'm you. Seeing Thank slide. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you guys. What, what y'all talk about? Thank you. Thank you. We gonna switch it up a little bit though. Um, so you were I'm speaking. Cold. Let me get some. Some Senegalese supreme inside me. Mm. I don't know how much is there. <laughs> this is so gas. Um, oops. You good? You see that? Got that magic. <laughs> um, so you mentioned something very interesting, Nika. You was like, men don't listen to shit, right? And some women might submit, right? Do you think that like men and women should have the same standards for themselves, like the same standards, or do we have different standards? Um, not do we have, but like should versus what do you think? I mean. Standards, look, hey, everything be a broad word. Because for me, I, when you said let standards, me, me, I'm, I'm perceiving yeah. it as needs because we all should have the same needs. We all Let's need break, to. Let me break it down real quick. Okay. Real quick. Yeah, let me be more specific. Because you may right. have, like, like, I give like the double standard, like how we walk, how we dress, mm -hmm. things like that. Closer to that, yeah. Like, so the same standards, for example, it's, it's a standard for a man to, you feel me, like, kind of prioritize his purpose. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, we see Lion King. We see Spider-Man. Purpose over everything, right? Save the world. Mm -hmm. That's kind of seen as, like, a standard for a man. Like, your work is your excellence as a man, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we see standards for a woman, like, maybe more so the family should be a priority or um, prioritize, like, you know, the, the feminine side of things, maybe the beauty of things, even how y'all prioritize how y'all look. I ain't gonna hold you. I just take a shower and pull up. Simple. Mm -hmm. You know and what I'm saying? We'll be, out. We'll be in there for hours trying <laughs> the to whole time. do the same yeah. thing. And y'all just rock the whole t-shirt y'all bought from the gas station with some new ones. I got three sisters, they you feel me? So I'm, I'll be like, where y'all at? You feel me? Like, every time. <laughs> so it's like society, we have different standards or like we see different standards. But then we see the conversations of like bridging that gap. Maybe we should have this. We seeing like, you know, business women come out. You feel me? Where it's like, okay, they prioritize on purpose. And then we see people like, you feel me? You know what, the sassy guys are like, okay. you know what I'm saying? The pretty boys coming out, you feel me? Prioritizing they, they fade, you feel me? Getting they, phone, they yeah. all that shit, you feel me? Your phone, rest in peace. <laughs> May we have another mic? Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. Indica, three steps ahead, I fuck with that. Let's you go. You the next man was um, smashing it. It was probably insane. Loki, uh, Ebony, I feel like your phone might be charged by now. Yeah. Or like a decent. Uh, yeah, it is, yeah. I can give it to you, yeah. You want to switch up? Yeah, sure. I got you. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. That's what I mean by standards, if that cleared it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, yes. Um, I It took a while. It took actually years for me to learn that women and men both have masculinity mm -hmm. and femininity within themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what age. I want to say 21. 21. Maybe I was a little bit younger, but I did not learn that until I was in my 20s that we both have things within us from estrogen to testosterone mm -hmm. and that biologically speaking that can be a way also we start off as girls in the womb everyone starts off with the clitoris and then you guys just got a bigger one that's just all it is <laughs> so but oh well yeah but um i think that we all should have our own similar standards but as women, like, we're going to do what we want to do. You're going to do what you want to do. But when you were saying, like, priority, the family should be a priority for both sides. Mm -hmm. Back in, make, like, old days, men were the hunters and we were the gatherers. Yeah. Like, we would be the ones picking the berries. You're the ones that's um, killing the boar. And then we skin it. We make the clothes. We notice the details. You guys notice the bigger picture. That's usually how it is. But when we have our own like standards, you should be able to care about how you dress or how you walk and how you talk. But in my mind, I feel like it's not fair 
so I can't say we have the same standards. I think I believe we should have mm -hmm. the same equality when it comes down to how I dress and how you dress. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying if we all should be out with our titties out. I'm not saying like <laughs> that. Like you could be sure of listening. We're not, I'm not saying like that. I mean, I don't complain. But what I'm saying is, it's okay for men to wear pink. It's okay. I see some men wearing crop tops. Do your thing. Um, I see women dressing up how they're supposed to dress because we were. No, I'm not saying for like my. my no, I'm just saying. But I'm saying like, like you are basking into your femininity. We should be able to wear baggy clothes. We sh I should be able to rock whatever type of jeans I want to rock. I, can I wear should be able clothes. to wear my boots. I can wear underwear. I like y'all. So y'all breathe more comfortable anyway. Y'all got bigger pockets. That's like y'all yeah. don't even need shit but a fucking wallet and a phone. We need a lot of shit. We, so need we should bigger have bigger pockets. <laughs> but that's that's just again don't. though. Why y'all right. need all that? Shit? <laughs> well, because we are prepared, and my I don't wear I don't I'm a bad type of bitch. I'm not a first type of bitch. See, See, I, need not, I need my portable. Yeah. I need my water. I need my purse. I need my little Everything snacks. Else in it. I need my weed. I need my blunts. I, it's a lot of shit. You can't carry that in the wallet. You can't like, carry. You I'm can't like, carry like, personal feminine products, products, products like in no we wallet. Figured it out. I mean, That's not, must, not yeah. the formula, but when he got to the vault, I got two musts out of that. The feminine products. Everything else is kind of optional. That should be equal yeah. right there. If how the fuck our shit should be free. We didn't ask to have a period. We didn't ask to have a period. No, so like I usually I'll just have money. like a phone in the wallet and just call it a day. I don't really. And like, a black woman made it. So why y'all yeah. taking it back and making us pay for it? But that's because every and that's another thing. We all are different. There are some men that want to get their nails done. That get their nails done. It should not be perceived as feminine. Right. That is you. That that's your perception of being hygienic. Yeah. I don't understand how that makes you gay or <laughs> like it, it shouldn't it doesn't matter you trying it's to be hygienic. clean it and then the bitches some bitches like hygienic. that shit like you you don't want his his nails to be clean exactly like oh you problem? got clean hands and now, now you, you can touch them okay <laughs> somebody gonna date a male painted nail yeah, so. so everybody has their preferences but every one of us is different anyway nowadays anyway we don't even do the men and women. Some people don't even perceive themselves as man or woman. That's so facts. It's a person sessions. right now identifying as a wolf. Like, dead ass. I'm trying to be funny. So, and it's okay. We all have, right. Go we ahead. all, everybody's minds are different. Do so, you, boo -boo. I just think it should be a respect <laughs> thing. Like, let the people live the lives they want to live. Like, mm -hmm. I'm in my own, that's what I'm saying, stay in your lane. I'm in my own lane. Mm -hmm. But it should be certain equality when it comes down to better pay. Like, it doesn't, why does it matter if I'm black on my resume? What does that, why does it matter? Yeah, I never why does it matter that. if I'm Hispanic? Why does it matter if I'm female or male? Unless we're talking about certain sports where it's the yeah. WNBA and the NBA. Yeah. Okay, I understand that. But when it comes down to me being a nurse or me being a firefighter, why the fuck does it matter? If I know I'm going to push that and I'm going to work hard and be this person, then why does it matter if I'm black or a black female or, um, a Hispanic male, like it's just certain yeah. things that should be standard that we should all be equal to. Mm -hmm. One thing to give clarity to this, the reason why I say that is because a guest made a clip where she was talking about in her clip how she looks at men to the same standards as her. She was talking about you basically you shouldn't be having. She was like in her words, you shouldn't be fucking if you broke. And then she was, and then blah blah blah. But at the end, she's like, she holds herself to the same standards. And man, basically, she's saying she also shouldn't be fucking if she's broke too. Saying it on mm -hmm. both sides. And then they went viral. A lot of positive but, comments, negative comments, real quick. So then she was basically mm -hmm. saying, people in the comments were saying, should you hold yourself to the same standards? So basically, saying in a sense like, almost to the sense like, men and women when we come mm -hmm. together. And this could be me completely misinterpreting. So I hope if she's watching this video, correct me if I'm misinterpreting what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But it was taken to mean that when she holds herself to the same standard as a man, it took to me like, I don't think that's fair, A, for her. Mm -hmm. Because again, like you said, like women are born with like, y'all got, gotta have feminine products and stuff like that. That y'all born with that. That's completely, as a guy, I don't gotta deal with any of that shit. So right off the bat, there's a difference off of that. And that comes with like a whole bunch of stuff, right? And then as a dude, that comes with a whole bunch of stuff. So it's like to hold herself to the same standard as a guy, I feel like that's a good aspiration to have. Like, okay, I'm gonna push myself. Yes, mm -hmm. I fuck with that aspect. But I don't think that's fair for her because that's impossible. You're not a guy. Yeah. Let's just be real. You feel me? So it's like whenever you have unrealistic standards, you fall. Mm-hmm. 
that's a that's a fact of reality. When you when you hold unrealistic standards or standards that you can never achieve, then it only creates a negative feedback loop of you not be able to achieve your goals. So it's not about like having you know challenging standards, right? I, I believe we should challenge ourselves, but having an unrealistic standard, which is you will never be a guy. You feel me? So it's yeah. like I feel like to say that is making you almost fight an uphill battle, a eh? and then for a guy coming into your life. He don't want to get another guy. He gonna be like, you don't need no man. And it's another thing, like it's certain decisions that us as women we can make them. Of course, we can make a decision, but a man delegating it definitely, they kind of like make it without emotion, like more of like us being more involved, more emotionally involved, making the hard decisions for them maybe more easier. So like I get that certain concept, but look, I feel like if we all put in the same hard work. Within the pay period, I feel like with just in pay period, I feel like we all should be getting the same type of money. I don't mm -hmm. care what type of work, mm -hmm. what type of um, <clears throat> career, what type of category it's under. We should be getting the same type of money. I'm sorry. I agree. No, I 100% mm -hmm. agree. I feel like if you put in the same kind of work, you should get the same kind of pay. Of mm -hmm. course. Period. For sure. No matter what color you are, <laughs> That's gender. That's my main mm -hmm. issue. Seriously. Everything else, I'm going to leave that for the birds. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cause it is certain, it's like What'd a lot think, of certain Evan? things that. Mm. Yeah, I I mean I agree with both of them. Uh, what part? Uh, as far as like the equal work, equal pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What do you think about should men and women be held to the same standards? Uh yeah. Mm. Yes, but not with everything. I would say. You can ask me right now with what, and I don't have anything in mind, straight to mind, but yeah. Uh, with certain things, yes, but not everything, no. Literally. Like, politically. What are some of those things? What are some of those things? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, like, politically, <laughs> it's different uh, than let's see yeah, what you got, a lot of things. Fuck. Like, I can't think of anything off rip, like, on the top of my head right now. But I, uh, yeah, that's just my answer. I feel you on it. <laughs> so, with some things, okay, let me yeah. help you out. So, so with some things like the way we dress, with some things like the way we respond like to a crisis, with certain things like the way we interact with family, like. Mm, I wouldn't, with family, what do you mean like with family? No. Uh, no, I don't have an answer right now. <laughs> no, it's cool, know. it's cool. No, this is, um, it's like you go to school and then they tell you, you know, you get potty trained. Well, hopefully at home you get potty trained. Mm -hmm. Then you go to preschool, they teach you the alphabet. Then you go to elementary, they teach you the, the periodic table, the elements. Mm -hmm. And it's like, there's so much conditioning. Like, life is like school. But you don't get to choose your teachers. That's the thing. So I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of these standards, they were taught to us by an automatic teacher that we didn't have control of, right? For better or for worse, it is who we are today and it does make up how we operate and our identity so i i'm all about efficiency yeah. like i'm about what works right mm. so it's like if i feel like if you're naturally good at something i'm all about working towards your um your skills versus working towards your weaknesses society always pushes this notion of like balance try to equal out everything <laughs> One by one. Yeah, I love yeah, literally, a domino effect. <laughs> Ebony, the last one. Literally, the last one. <laughs> nah, but, um, no, but yeah, like, I forgot oh, what I was saying. I Just like that. I gotta unmute yours. I lost my train of thought. Yes, please unmute oh, yours. Oh, but yeah, that's why I said, um, like, like politically. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, unmuted. Unmute you the last hope. Literally. That's why I said, like, politically. I feel like there are certain Third things that should be equal standard. Like when it came down, that's why I, like, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Like there was a teacher that we don't even know that started these standards. Mm -hmm. There were certain, like back then, there were certain people, like women had to wear the skirts and the dresses. We couldn't wear pants. Men, men were the ones that could wear the trousers and wear the pants. That's where that phrase comes from. And then from. over yeah. time, um, like during like the Industrial Revolution, I think like the working class time, they would start to work so now women are working too so now now your daughter can wear pants too you know a little baby can wear the same thing that the little boy is wearing mm -hmm. that's why certain pictures as kids you'll see you don't know if it's girl or boy because they had his ass on dress too didn't matter because they, they just yeah. passing it down but 
then over time, like for a good example, that really fucked up and made gender roles like a standard to everything was Nintendo when they were in the toy aisle, like the toy aisle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, back then, now it has to be blue for the boys, pink for the girls, right? Mm -hmm. And so Nintendo, now I gotta choose, like fuck, because we can't just put us in the middle. Which side do you guys think that they chose? Who? The boys. Nintendo. Wait, I'm confused. I can't, I forgot what year. I think it's, Wait, I, like, I don't want to say 90s, I want to say 80s. The kids no, choosing? Nintendo, Nintendo. Oh. So back then, the the boy toys, of course, were blue, the yeah. guns, all that was for the boys. The princess stuff, the doll stuff was for the girls. Mm. Now Nintendo has came into play. It came into the game. Now they got to figure out which shelf they're going to be on. Which oh, girls, shelf? boy or girls. Which shelf do you think that they chose? They chose boys. The, mm. One of their slogans was, do you want to um, save the girl or fight like one or something like that? I may be getting it wrong. Do you want to um, fight like a... I forgot. Oh, do you want to save I, the girl or be the girl? Yeah, save the girl or be the girl. That makes like Something sense, like yeah. that. I forgot how it was, but it was <laughs> like their one of their first like games. Mm -hmm. So now it's like... All right, now we already know what side they're on. So, like, video games, we can't do it. But fun fact, women actually play most video games than male. What? It's not <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Google on. it, Google it. It's on our Beast. phones. Beast. Beast. I'm a good okay. example. I girl, love the fuck out of The Sims. But I have hella <laughs> games on my phone. Y'all play certain games, yeah, a phone games. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why we're out, and we already outnumber you guys in population. So That's true. But we have access to the phones, and then I play The Sims. So that's another thing, like PC. There are plenty of games, Call of Duty, GTA. I love GTA, except for online. They're assholes online. I hate yeah. GTA online. <laughs> I'm just trying to chill, drive, boom, get blown up. That is fucked up. But it's certain things, like, that we don't think doesn't like it matters. Like, we're just playing games. Like, yeah. it's not a big deal. But boys play basketball. Girls don't play basketball. Nowadays, it's not like that. We want equality when it comes down to certain stuff. But I'm not saying everything. I know I'm not a man, and he yeah. and he should know he he's not me. There are certain people that's gonna identify as certain things, but like naturally though, we still have two different roles. Exactly. Until you you know if Where you respectfully, some male and woman, male and female. That's those are the roles. We are biologically male and female. Like to reproduce. Yes. You're only able to reproduce with a male or female. Even without us physically reproducing, you can scientifically reproduce through IVF. But you only need the female's egg and a male sperm. Yep. You can't just do it with us. Yep, exactly. Like, we can't just, we can't, that's why I say, what came first, chicken or egg? I don't know. Oh, wow. But you do need both of us to make us. Mm. So... There are a lot of things that we do need to understand about standard, but I say politically, yes. Like, there are a lot of things that, that should be equal. We should not be having to argue about. Like, even in third world countries, there is no way that I sh a, a little girl should be forced to marry somebody just because you want to get some fucking cows or yeah. you want to buy this land. That If I don't agree to this, that's wrong. Yeah. Like, I know that I that's tradition like and if, everybody has their agree, own things. Up, mm -hmm. Can you really right? Make can a you really as agree well? with what's exactly? Yeah. Can you really make a a, a, a logical decision uh, as yeah. marriage? Because marriage it's is lifelong. actually yes, it's just an agreement. It's an agreement. Mm -hmm. I'm just we just hey, we we're really partners. We want marriage to always be about love. But in reality, under court and law, it's just it's hey y'all y'all under yes, yeah, it's, it's just it's business. business. It's, it's always been like that. But once we colonize, you know, yeah. colonizers came to America, and then also in different cultures, it is about love. So it's like some people jump the broom, mm -hmm. yeah. some people break glass. Like it is supposed to be about love, but back then it was about politics. It's like chess. Life is like chess. What should it be about? Hmm. It should be about love, but marriage. I no, I say relationships. Oh. Mm. Marriage What's the sh difference? should be, I'm saying, well, a, a relationship in general should be about love. Like, if I'm dating you, it's because I love you. If I'm engaged to you, it's because I love you. If I'm married to you, it's because I love you. Mm. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying in third world countries, I don't even know this man. This is a man or a little, or maybe sometimes it is little boys mm -hmm. or vice versa. I don't even know this person and you're making me marry them because you're my parent. Yeah. But you don't even know him. You just know the family. Mm. So I, I should love you enough to, to make that agreement because that is a, a partnership. And we already live in a world where everybody's struggling. Not everybody, 
but the people who are really getting down to nitty gritty and really know what struggle is because some people are born into wealth or someone found the easy way out so they're not struggling right now they're not worried about next paycheck because mm -hmm. they already make it paychecks in their sleep what do you think right. about people who were forced into marriage but then they end up living happily ever after well then good for them that's yeah. that's something that it was this that's how that like, literally the universe mm -hmm. is weird like we everything happens for a reason. reason like do you believe that do you believe that we don't always know what's good for us yeah i mean yes because we're not the universe we cannot we can tell our stories but we're literally writing it over time mm -hmm. like we don't even know our whole story of life mm -hmm. like until you pass away and maybe you can whatever happens afterwards in the afterlife maybe you can relive it probably recap but yeah a little recap <laughs> a little recap video a little, what is it called a, com a, a com compilation compilation, compilation. <laughs> compilation oh god but other than that like no we we don't know what's we know what's good for us after all the trials possibly yeah. mm -hmm. certain stuff mm -hmm. like I know she or he is not good for me because he done fucked me over too many times or I know that this part this food part not good for me because it I mean my stomach fucked up a few times like mm -hmm. I don't have bubble guts for you Times, but mm. sometimes even if it's not good for you you still sometimes do it, it. yeah you still yep. sometimes do it i'm just i'm just trying to get to like i'm trying to i'm trying to strike a balance between what we think is good for us versus what mm. is good for us because a lot of times we make decisions off of what feels good yeah or it might even be good for now but when we look at longevity when we look at like the thing is, a lot of this shit is new, right? A lot of this, like, low-key, low like, uh, follow your heart, mm -hmm. um, this Disney shit. A lot of it is not Home new, but it's within the past... Captions, yeah. yeah, it's within the past 30 to 50... Okay, I'll give it in the past 50 years. Before that, it was like... I'm talking about thousands of years. It was about survival. Mm. Literally. Who got the best genetics? Merch. Who got the most money? Merch. Mm-hmm. Who got it the... It was chess. It's about business. Literally. It's like, literally. And I know people, like, in, in third world countries, they'll marry, like, a lighter skinned person. It was really about business. Because that, that was it, more... That's how you survived more back then. That's how you, your mm -hmm. kids got... It's <laughs> fucked up as it is. It was about survival, right? Then we get into this modern age where it's like, follow your heart, right? Which, I ain't gonna hold you. I would love that. That's beautiful, right? But I'm looking at, like, what works. Mm -hmm. And I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know too many, like... I mean, we see these celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. and like, like these at not who they broke up, but um, I was about to say Angelina Jolie and Brad, but they broke up. Mm -hmm. But like until they broke up, they were all like, "Oh, we love." Or like, mm -hmm. look at this. Like, there's so many celebrities, Will and Jada, and they might be in love, right? Love up to now. What I'm trying to say is like, we idolize these celebrities mm -hmm. who fell in love, and then it's like we see them break up or we see them do some shicey shit. And it's like, okay, that didn't work, but that was love uh, based on like what we think is love. Mm. But then we look at like, for example, my grandparents. I mean, World War II generation, you feel me? I ain't gonna hold you. My grandfather was like really light skinned. It was during a time where it's like, that's what was in. Like you got more benefits, you got more access, mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. me? So I'm looking at all the politics now, I'm like, okay. And it's not to say that they didn't like each other. It wasn't a forced marriage, but it was more what was practical. It was more what worked. You feel mm -hmm. me? And man, they lived together until they they passed away. Like, mm -hmm. and it's like nowadays I don't see it's all this break up this, divorce that. Mm -hmm. That person didn't meet my needs. And it's like I'm not saying I'm not bashing any of these things. These are important, but it's it's it seems like we're finding more reasons to disqualify somebody mm -hmm. than to make it work. Mm -hmm. And my question to you all is like, when you look at the reasons of why you love. Is it is it is it more selfless or is it more selfish? Now I break this down. Is it more so I love this person because how they make me feel, or is it more I love this person because of what I think we can create together? Because I feel like that's two different things. I would say uh, both. I would say both. Yeah, yeah, I would say both. For sure. It's both. Like, but when you were saying like idolizing, we have to also remember that this is all an image. We're idolizing people that we see that we've probably never ever met. We've never been in their house. Don't know. We've them never a ever laid down with them. We've never seen them argue. We've never seen the reality of marriage. Like you gave an example of your grandparents. We probably have seen certain realities or not because we were young and they were our grandparents. Mm -hmm. So we just saw them old and you just resonating with each other and just settling. They already At settled. Peace. 
exactly because they've done it already they went through that but then you see certain tv shows or you hear certain family real life family drama where whole time that ain't your cousin for real mm. or granddaddy cheated or and well and you're wondering like why did they say it? Mm. it's not just because of selfish reasons but it's because of also how they were raised they were raised to just pray yeah they were raised through trauma themselves mm -hmm. so when you hear like my my great grandma when she tells like the story she has a third grade education a what a third grade education mm. and she's she was married until he passed away um but she was still able to get a, her house and and it's amazing how you would never know that but she was from georgia she's mm. raised in atlanta georgia and when you hear like certain things they were going through then you realize like that's all they have are each other so when you all you have are each other and all you have is religion that you were taught these mm -hmm. things you were taught the standards of you have to stay you have to be the wife or you have to be the husband no matter if they cheat or not it all goes also down to biology because like you said who's the better race who's the better not you didn't say that word, but who's a better? Um, I mean, it was it was it's, it was like all, that back. But in that's the day, how yeah. it is now, even through animals, because we are animals. But certain species, they're gonna go for the best, like peacocks. I'm gonna go for the motherfucker with the biggest feathers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the frog that makes the loudest croak. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the bird that has the best nest. Mm -hmm. It's all about because it, it is like it is like politics. Because I want to see. I know that you can. If I have a baby with you, we're gonna have babies that survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it was all about. But we are the top of the food chain. Mm -hmm. So we have more, nothing but more curiosity, more judgment, more selfishness. Where you're right, we're going to find any and every excuse to judge because Jada and Will stay together. How come we can't? Not realizing Jada was fucking, Will probably was fucking too. Look. But Jada <laughs> admitted it. It was like, I heard they were swingers. Well, so. Yeah, it was a lot of things yeah. that you don't time, know. Not even but really you, hurt. exactly, <laughs> it's like, all a show. But it's because of it's all a facade. It's, it's all not. A facade. We are. And my, uh, I'm not idolizing anybody that I see. I, when I was younger, I liked watching it, mm -hmm. but I never ever once said I want to be that person. Yeah. Yeah. I've always said I will. I can't wait to meet that. But like for example, Immortal Technique, Lil Wayne, Chief Keith, they inspired me to rap. I've never said I want to beat them. First of all, they're males, so duh. But Kenny got also, bands. I could not. I'm dead. I could not <laughs> wait to meet them. Drill queen. I cannot wait to meet them. That's how. That's what I say. Like I can't wait to get next to them. Mm -hmm. Like I because now, hey, if you, you hear my music, you see how. But that's how it is. It's not me. I because in my mind, our is like I really want to beat them. Or mm. oh my god, I'm not sitting waiting for the next album to drop. Cause shit, I'm probably still listening to your last one. Cause that shit was fire. Right. Like I play Rolling by Lil Wayne all the time. Like mm. that's my shit. So man, Lil Wayne a goat. It's, exactly. So it's certain ways that we have to realize, like marriage, love, all of that. It's about what you like. It isn't. It can be selfish, mm -hmm. in a way, because I do like doing. Also, if I like, if I do things for you that are good, I like doing it for you. Yeah. So that's in a way selfish, because everybody's selfish. Everybody's selfish in their own way. You gotta think about that. I'm selfish with a friend because I'm with you for happiness. That like we're all using each other for something. It could, it's good though. I'm using you for laughs, for love, for mm -hmm. release, for therapy, for fun. Relation, yeah, for fun. Relationships. I'm using you for sex, for love. Uh, some people do it for money, for um, benefits, things like that. Yeah, working attention. Uh, exact attention. Mm -hmm. I'm using a, a, the the, the job to to pay my bills, to eat, to you know get from point A to point B. I'm using this car for. We're always using something for something, but yeah. if you love, it shouldn't be a negative. Mm -mm. Mm. Like you shouldn't be leeching. So it's the it's the intention behind it. Yeah, yeah. It's and it has to be real, it. genuine yes. intent. Like. It has to be. Why is intention important? I really feel like it's important because it just shows mm -hmm. the type of person you are and the type of, um, like the type of, um, let me see, what's the word? Basically, the mission you're trying to get at. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And unless we know the type mm -hmm. of person that you are, like, if I should leave you around, keep you around or should I leave you alone? What make you leave somebody alone? Um, no. When I feel like basically um like things are one-sided um i'm putting in more effort than the next person um basically not being heard because i'm listening to how you feel and i'm, I'm doing everything to 
make you feel all good but what are you doing for me and it may seem like oh what whatever i do for you you gotta do for me but again this is a reciprocated relationship whether it's friendship or relationship i so. would also say like lack of respect or lack of consideration yes. or nobody saying that for example you could have some trauma or whatever right but i'm saying like if somebody loves you and they say they love you they would also not be responsible but also understand come from a place of understanding and see like okay well maybe they dealt with this so a better way to approach this situation would be like hey maybe i should do this in order to make them feel like this more at ease so that way um so it gives them more like at peace because it's i don't know like it's something that i used to or something you know right then if I, that makes sense like um they need a little like motivation yeah or just like reassurance or something like yeah, I think that, yeah, I say that. At what point do you stop giving them some of this when they stop giving you some of that? Or do you just keep giving? The type of person I am, I, I give. And I give until I just feel like I can't anymore. And sometimes I may re go past my limit of feeling like I can't do it anymore, but it's something that just, I just keep giving. I'm just a giving person. And sometimes mm -hmm. that can be like a, a smack in the face or like, mm -hmm. Like a like I just fucked myself up type of feeling, but I mean, yeah, I would say I'm pretty giving. So mm. I give until I can't give anymore. Is there like warning signs? Like when you about to reach that point where you can't give no more? Like can it uh, can I'll a person stop. tell, or is it just like all right? I I'll stop caring less. Like I'll care less. I probably won't like I'll be nonchalant. Mm -hmm. Like it just it is. I'll be like it is what it is type of mood or type of. Mm. Feeling, yeah. So when you stop arguing, when you stop caring, when you stop talking, mm -hmm. yeah, sums like, up. I even now shut down. I shut down. I'm not gonna lie. I shut down now. But like, we, when, you'll know when I don't care anymore. You'll know when I just be like, it is what it is. Like I don't even care to even say anything anymore. When it gets to that point, mm -hmm. can the guy do anything to bring it back? Mm. I lately I've caught myself finding like certain things that I know I don't like. It will turn me off completely. So like what? Lack of respect, lack of consideration, lack of I don't know communication, um, things like that. So th at the slightest, I feel like now we're just like, mm. like I, I feel like that's where I'm at now with uh, dating and stuff. Wait, so like, how does the person win you back? Like when you get to that point? <sighs> I don't even or know. Can they? I feel like I won't even ha I won't even know what you could do I, if it's mm. something that's, if it turns me off it it turns me off and that's just but yeah. like they stop doing those things like they were that person all of those things all that but then once you like step back get in some space they was like I done fucked up now they they the opposite of that they everything you like but do you still see them like that ugly troll because they've already done it <laughs> is that unerasable in your image of what they done to you or can they win you back? There's been a point where I felt like I was completely done with someone, and I was set on my decision, mm. completely set. But they called me, and they were like, you know, I apologize, and they cut this, that. and I'm just like, but I love them, and I and I accept them, and I want better for them. So that's kind of like a uh, like a pulling like a real me in type yes. of thing, yeah, and um. Sometimes that's not good either, but I feel Did it like. Work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, like, don't take no. But yeah, but, don't but take no. I. I believe them. I do, but I also. Did it it's backfire? Like, mm, a little bit, yeah. But I feel like. I feel like they just have gone through different things and. I don't know, and I feel like it's gonna say excuse or I don't yeah, know, but so they they went through shit after you took them back, and then no, wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. So you said that person's like baby come back, and then you said you took them back, right? Or did I miss? No, that? they weren't. They just apologized for. Oh, you know, they, what they, they were did. trying to come back. They were just trying to say sorry. No, they like. Once I said I was setting my decision, they called. <laughs> sent them, oh shit! They sent a message, and um. Me loving them and seeing seeing their potential and seeing, you know, like, 
I'm willing to be patient with them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm willing to do all of that. And so you a second chance? Yes. I feel like it depends on the situation though, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what I was saying was, did it work out that second time? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what's it's up. It's working right now. So. Oh, that's the same. <laughs> it's working right now. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, listen, now I'm going to be a little nosy. You feel me? Listen, I got three sisters for a reason. I done picked up on a lot of bad habits. Um, Listen, without exposing you a little too much, you said okay. you're dating. Yes. But, like, if you already had... So, like, were y'all, like, together together and then broke up and then now y'all dating again? Or No. Um, so, we started dating at the end of May. Um, And, yeah, we're st still going. So. so, this up and down happened within the dating? Recently. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got you, got you. I was thinking this was like a long term no. boyfriend girlfriend thing no. and then they fucked up. Okay, I got mm -mm. you. No, that's interesting. What do y'all think about um giving second chances overall? Like should you should people have a, like I know three strikes you're out people. Or I know people it's like once you do me dirty, it's over with. Um, I give you I don't well, know. I give you three strikes. You know what I'm saying? Like it depends. It depends like, on the situation, but I'll give you three strikes if it's you know something we can work on. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like, yeah, it depends on. I don't know what people think I can put up with, but I am not God's strongest um soldier. Okay, don't be putting no bullshit on me. Yeah, I feel like sometimes saying. if somebody mm -hmm. lied to me, I won't believe anything. Yeah, after at that, that point. anymore. Like it's gonna be question. It's gonna make me question everything else. Like, like I'm yeah. FBI agent, so it's mm. like if you already and then like I do remember I smoke mm -hmm. a lot of weed, but yeah. I remember a lot of shit. Every like there like, is no like dead ass. So you cannot like, lie to me because I will remember. It was remember. not like this, and then now it's like no, like I'm I'm that type. Especially if you already doing that to me, like it's like uh, alright, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's our like. I, I don't play like but I do give second third but it like like I said it you said third situation. like you get fourths <laughs> I'm <done that laughs> you once. was counting <laughs> I mean I've been there but no, it's been a situation like if it's blatant disrespect type of thing no cause like I know how to communicate I have a mouth if mm -hmm. I tell you not to do something that hurts me it's different I'm not trying to control you like it's mm -hmm. not like don't wear this or don't go there no yeah. it's about if you say something to me that's rude or you yeah. do something rude mm -hmm. and I'm blatantly telling you like that's hurting my feelings or that is changing my mood Mm -hmm. Then I feel like you should, you know. Yeah, I feel like you should don't know. Don't like you should know what will hurt my feelings, so don't do it. Cause you won't hurt like feelings. I feel like you should yeah. not do anything to the sense. next person that you don't want done to yourself. So, oh, you gonna be getting the ambulance call? You see that? <laughs> Ooh, hold on, Fun fact. <laughs> Cause we fuck a lot. We zero to one hundred real quick. Hey, what y'all yeah. doing in the comments? Thank y'all for tapping in. We listen. This is that place where the podcast goes, you know what I'm saying? Where we, we dive deep. Immaculate, fake is the new love. Shit. Mm. I don't know I don't what know planet you are. What's fake. up, Julian? What's I, up? I can't, I can't fake. Uh, I love Yeah, if I can't be myself around yeah. you, yeah. why am I with you? Yeah. If I cannot genuinely be myself. Just be me. Okay, like, me. If I'm not smiling, that's a problem. Because yeah. I'm always smiling. I'm always talking. But I know how to read the room eventually. To know, like, all right, you know, like, even right now, I'm like, yeah. come on now, India, get my turn, things like that, because mm -hmm. I teach my kids, they're like, hold on now, I already let you answer three times, Let, let's give another class for the turn. Mm -hmm. like, one kid. Look, but. You keep raising their hands. Mm -hmm. right? Next but, time. But I understand, because you understand it more than they do, so of course you're going to be the one that's like, ugh, it's taking so long, but your brain does not move like theirs, yeah. so. Or sometimes people think their brain moves fast, but they're just, they're not, adult, the, they're not understanding it at the level they're supposed to understand it at. Yeah, so it's like, like being an you think you're the smart kid, right? But it's mm -hmm. like actually you're giving an answer, or you're thinking you're answering something when you should have been wait letting that teacher talk so you could learn more about what yeah. you think you already know. Because mm -hmm. you can't learn when you think you already know everything. Yeah. yeah, it's good to know a lot, but when you know a lot, it's smarter when you know when to know. You know what I mean? That's the real power. Like play. it, like I know, I I know exactly what's gonna go down, but I'm gonna be quiet because it ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because That's when you Chicago know, shit. and I'm gonna get the, and I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here because I know it's gonna go down. Mm. It's a it, that that's important, like to know when to know she or to know like phones. not to overpower. But that also goes into play sometimes with being a female or even being a male, like learning not to overstep when you are reading the room. Like it's unfortunate, Thank but it's also like if it's business certain things, like you have to be able to read the room and know like whole time they finna bite themselves in the ass so go and be quiet let them finish what they got to say mm -hmm. because 
it's gonna it's gonna benefit you in the end. Nah, so. facts. Coming back to you, K. How would they know what not to do to you? Like, is this a conversation y'all have? Is this like, are you constantly telling them like how you move and what you like? Are they? Are you expecting them to ask these questions? Like, cause how do you know? Um, I feel like people tend to like before you get close with someone anyways, um, you will kinda give them a rundown on like who you are and what you've been through or something like that. So I feel like they sh like I'm not saying they should take note, but if you feel like you wanna get close with that person you should basically know like kinda what their triggers are or what not to do or even if you again, you can't have these type of conversations as well. So mm -hmm. I just need you to listen. You know? Yeah. Listening plays a very big part. Mm. So I feel like it's more of like a little bit of everything, but again, you do should not do, you should not hurt someone, and basically you won't want to be hurt the same way. So and common courtesy. Yeah, yeah. Like, com like communication is key, but so is comprehension. Like yeah. mm -hmm. I should be able to tell you something. You should like have common sense mm -hmm. to know like that. All right, you right. That, exactly. that did hurt your feelings. I won't do that again. Or. I respect you as a person. I know your boundaries, so I'm gonna go over here. Stay in your lane. Like it's that's really important because sometimes when we people when we cross paths with people, mm. we want them to be like us. Like we want that friend. Come on, turn yeah. up, turn up. Mm -hmm. Read the room. This is your friend. That's chill. You gotta be strategic. Don't mm. force them to be somebody that they're not. Yeah. Yeah. If you met them on some chill shit, they're probably gonna always be some chill mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. So you could probably test it out, but. Once you realize this, who this person is, you probably shouldn't like press it. Right. And even in relationships, like I'm even learning myself. Like I'm more of, of like a yo bubbly person, and my my significant other is more mellow, like chill, like like night and day in a way. Yeah. It's like which is good because you need that. You need somebody to be like, hey, chill, yeah. or you need somebody to be like, hey, turn up, hey, smile, <laughs> shit. You need that because sometimes you may not even realize that the universe is just trying to give you that. You know. Sometimes it be that dark cloud over you, or you have that, like you think that you the shit, and in reality, hold on, chill, because you yeah. weren't the only person in the world, or it's like, oh, yeah. um, going crazy. like damn, why are you sad? Come on, turn up, come on, come over here. Let's, let's, what you like to do? Like things like that, like learning that person, mm -hmm. learning who you fucking with, because no matter, like not even just, even platonic. Mm -hmm. Learning your friend, learning your mom, your dad, like your sibling, learning them because then you'll realize, all right, they on that shit again. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go this way because yep. you want to learn yours because it is in a way a selfishness too because you want to also learn how because I'm an empath and sometimes I'll be like, yeah, and I'll go on somebody and they be like, oh, and I'm just like, oh. And I'm like, nah, I just fuck around around you, cause I was just cool before I got here. <laughs> so I, it's it's best to like read the room and also communicate like. All right, I know that this is probably the friend that I'm gonna see another day, or when I'm bored or like I want to talk. And I know that they're that friend that probably gonna be on the same shit. Like whole time I'm sad today too. Like okay, is that fake? Like you, you got a strong reaction to us when I say fake. Who, like on me? Yeah. yeah like, so what's fake? Right, instantly you. I smell fake. You what's gazing. fake? Right. <laughs> Look, what's fake? Why does fake? Why does fake trigger you so much? Like is that is that what's happening to you in the past? Like fake love and shit, or is it just yeah, like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You moving towards a new like rebirth where it's like you're not allowing that in your life anymore. Like yeah, definitely mm -hmm. I'm not allowing that shit in my life no more. It's over with because like at the end of the day, again I move with genuine intent. So like if I'm coming with you, coming at you with like real love and like real positivity and just like yeah I want to see you win and whole time you sending these evil eyes behind my back. I'm mm -hmm. cool, right? Like <laughs> I'm cool. Mm. Is it how do you vet for that? Like how do you spot? Can you can you tell someone's fake up front or is that something that oh they true colors? I would give someone at least a good two to three tries before they could show me like who they really are. Because again, you could probably meet somebody on a worst day ever. You could probably be around somebody who probably had the best day and then next thing you know, next time you meet them again, whole time, they just a boring ass motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But they was lit that day. You feel me? Like, okay. Sometimes that be the best times when they at their lowest or when they at their highest because you can see mm -hmm. who they genuinely are. Yeah. yeah. Like, everybody is, they, we all have different masks and you're a genuine person usually is you when you're by yourself in your own room. Mm -hmm. But when you are at your lowest and that person experiences it, it does help because damn, you're a dick when you're mad. <laughs> or, whole time you be you need to just chill because you're that's why you that's why you mad like, like you're panicking like your anxiety is up because you're overthinking mm -hmm. sometimes you need that person 
to see you. Because like I said, you're a mirror. So you don't see yourself. So you may not even think that. You may be in your own mind so much that you like, girl, I'm, I'm cool. Or the whole time, I'm sad as fuck. In reality, like, and somebody is viewing you as the most brightest person in the room. Mm -hmm. And it may not be there. It right. may not be that. You may not even see it in yourself. So yeah. sometimes it is best to see you, like, when you're sad. Because you're like, damn, you cry? Oh, my God, they're crying. Like, it's real shit to see that. Because sometimes the hardest soldiers does need that. Like, they need that time because we're humans. Like, we are not robots. Yeah. We have emotions. And it does it does build up. And if you don't know how to communicate or you don't know how to express yourself, you're going to be pissed off with the wrong person. Or you're going to meet the wrong aura. And then mm. damage them. Or... They mm -hmm. may damage your ass because you damage them. Like, you never what's even know what's the most damaging. You. What's worse? Is it worse? Okay. I'm going to just say it. <laughs> this is my uh, trigger warning, but I feel like we're all adults here. How old are you, um, Ebony? 25. Yeah, we all adults in here. I like the order. Right, 25. 23. 25, 25. And like, oh no, I fucked it up though because I'm the oldest. Mm -hmm. So it would have been perfect if I was over there. But mm -hmm. anywho, what's worse? Someone who lies or someone who cheated on you, but it, it told you to their face. I fucked up. I, I was drunk and shit. I slipped in some. Ooh, fuck. But but he he told you the truth versus someone who lies and you never find out. I want you to when tell me the truth, the truth and number the truth. Mm. You when never did, find out though. But when did they tell the truth? Like immediately afterwards. What's that? But when did they tell the truth though? Like was it days after, months after? But why does that matter, Ebony? So because, you said I'm not because what? <laughs> because yeah. So you like it's pre, if it's already premeditated, I feel like they mean that there was some What's thought. What's premeditated? Into, premeditated means you already knew to pull up or, to get that dick, exactly. or you knew to and pull like, up to you didn't to, think to about get fucked. Like, you didn't think you about how the person would feel. You mm -hmm. didn't think about how that may like fuck up the relationship or nothing. Like you just went to do I it. I could see if you no, was in like, a moment around fuck. somebody. Why that's different? That. Why that's different? Then like he told you instantly. What's the, what's the big difference? He still told you. That means like it gave me it gave me an option. Like you don't care. Like I don't. I don't know. Like, if it happened immediately afterwards, I would respect it more than you waiting. Because then, what the fuck else have you lied about? Mm -hmm. like, like, no, dead ass. Like, it's either way, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But yeah, you yeah. told me, like, way after the fact. So, like, what else is happening? For no reason, though. It's not like you found out. No, literally, like, you just randomly. I couldn't take it anymore, like, baby. Like, right. Like, we just laying down. And you just, so, like, like, why yeah, you look like that? Like, yeah. that's just some crazy shit. Like, I don't know. You Personally, your ass. That was, that's, that's mm -hmm. too much. What do you think? That's yeah. too triggering. I don't know. I feel like if you tell me the truth, though, like, you give me an option to feel like, all right, um,. Okay, if I want to stick around or if I don't, and then like if I found out like the times, like the time frame, all right, how long ago this was? Who out the bam? Now, if it was super long ago and I'm just not finished, first of all, how I not notice? Mm -hmm. Second, because again, like damn. what happens to you is what you allow. So like if you not noticing these signs of how your person is, some people can you, be good though. Some people are very good. Which is so fucked up. Some people some are very good. good. Oh, and hiding and hide and shit. Yeah, like, sometimes you will be so shit. oblivious and you just have tunnel vision. Like they love me. They come home. Mm, they doing their own thing. Mm, and whole time they got a whole mm. double life. Like it. It's. Hey, I be I be watching last week. Don't get me started on double lives. I'm cool. Man, has it happened to you? Has anybody yeah. been double lived? Yes, yeah. I have. Been, I have. Yes, I have. Yes. I'm so sorry. No, I've had right. that. I've had that call where you like where you called crying like I I did something bad like oh. what the fuck. Oh, they, they, they confessed. Yeah, they called and confessed. But like you didn't, you had no clue. No. No, I went through a phone. Uh, no, I had no <laughs> clue, but it literally was like. Everybody stop. Nothing else matters. Um, Ebony, could you elaborate that? Um, you, so what makes you go through somebody's phone? And would you still do that today? And is, is going through somebody's phone healthy in a relationship? Mm. Mm. I went through a phone because I felt like something was just off. Like it, it was something that it was just not feeling right to me. Went through the phone and seen it was with X, Y, and Z, doing this, this, and that. Supposed to be on vacation visiting family in a bed with a whole different person. And my oh. friend told me because my friend is in the fr friends with the person that she's in bed with. So. Fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. So it was just like a lot with that whole thing. Like I checked phones. I just I have checked phones. Would I check a phone now? Ain't doing it anymore. Probably, but no. Mm. At the same time, like I want to be able to trust somebody, and I want to know what it feels like to completely trust somebody. I want to know what it feels mm. like to feel at ease, and I feel like 
you can do that, but still, like, you just don't know. When you went into that person's phone mm-hmm. and found what you found, mm-hmm. did you feel any sort of guilt that you that you kind of violated their trust going into their phone? Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, fuck, what about me, though? Like, fuck. damn. Uh, like, did, you get, did you continue with that person when you found out on their phone? I let them go. go and say yes. I, I did. I did. So, I so did. no, I know why you say yes. And a lot of people go to people's phones. Yeah, stay. and still. And you stay. know why they stay? Because the human brain is a master at realizing. Um, not that not that you deserve any of that, but mm-hmm. whenever we do something that is a violation of our own standard of trust, mm-hmm. then we our tolerance to bullshit goes up. Yeah. So for example, mm. we deep down knew I shouldn't go to his phone. Something's not right about it. Like even mm-hmm. though. Stuff was going up. You know, there was still that little thought, like, yeah. I am going on someone's phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the fact that you did self-fulfilling prophecy, you did find some shit. Yeah. And even though you want to break up or, like, fuck you, blah, 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 and move on, part yeah. of you was like, oh, I did go on his phone, so I'm not clean yeah. either. So you'll stay. You'll end up staying because you only get what the worst part of you thinks it deserves to an extent. Yeah. So that's that's why I already knew who you stayed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I brought that shit right up. Hey, um, yeah. mm-hmm, look, I went through your phone. Yep, look, I mean, I you wanna not. play? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying to play I, these games though, baby. I, How did that go? I, oh, man. I mean, I feel like, I feel like, um, like I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I had my fair share of runs going through people's phones. So I'm cool on that, especially if stuff going good. I ain't even finna like, mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna look for nothing. I'm gonna let it come to me. If it's supposed to come to me, then it's supposed to come to me. If if it's not coming to me, if ain't nothing super big, you know, I guess like. I hate using this hand, but men will be men sometimes. I hate using it, but men will be men what sometimes. Does that mean? I just feel like sometimes they do little stuff. Like it's not something so super big, like to the point where it feel like, oh, you super disrespecting me or no shit like that. But you'll be feeling like, okay, you may not know no better. Some of you a little past, but I'm gonna let you know, like, nah, that ain't cool. You mm-hmm. feel me? That's that's only that's only what way is I'm that? Saying is that. that like hollering, talking to another short? No, not like blatantly talk to nobody. Hell no. Cause what is you that? you know not touch nobody else, but my thing is basically like um, like commenting on something they they shouldn't or like, like I don't another know. girl's post. Um, not even saying like necessarily another girl like putting themselves into somebody else's stuff over? or um. I think it. Oh, keep going. Damn. Yep, it's glitching. Yep. Put like everybody phone for it finna go. Let me unmute mine. Okay. We down to the last phone in these last minutes. We can wrap up soon. Oh <laughs> um, yeah. No, but yeah. What are some of those things that men like? You give them that pass. Men will be men. I just feel like some stuff that they sh- they. I ain't gonna say that they shouldn't do because again, like they act on instinct. A lot of men act on instinct, but it's like certain things you should and shouldn't do when you have someone you're supposed to basically like consider. You know. And they may be thinking in there, oh, this is me phase. Or they just, like, think it personally them. But think about, like, how the next person may feel that you're dealing with or who you have around. Like, you can't condone the certain things as well, especially if you have this type of situation going on in your life. Mm-hmm. Can't mm-hmm. be around certain shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, set yourself, don't set yourself up for failure. You don't, don't even put yourself in that type of predicament to be, like, to be um, in a situation that'll get you somewhere you don't want to be, basically. Mm-hmm. So... No, that's real mm-hmm. shit. It's healing, though. It's healing when you get to that place mm-hmm. where it's just like, I ain't going to go searching for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? Because it's something about when you search for shit. It's something about it's you searching for shit. It's no, worth it. I mean, it's sometimes I, it's I've most likely like right there, but if it ain't come to you, it ain't even nothing big. I right. promise it's probably not even nothing that deserves, like, energy. Mm-hmm. So. Because think about it, right? What if, like, you search for some shit and you find something that, like, not 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 only do you find what you was looking for, but sometimes that fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you find some shit that traumatize you. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Like that traumatize really you. Like, like oh, shit. No, I did not need you to know that. Lying. Like yeah. That Trust type me, of I've been shit. traumatized a couple times. And, it, cool. and, and then I was the type of person that was like Going a hider. Like, like, shit. Even mm-hmm. shit. Look, I, man, I didn't call people in the act before, so it, it's mm-hmm. you know. Fuck. On some like like straight up. Straight up in the act. Did they still lie? Like I was it me. Yeah, they still lied right in my damn face. Like, I, it took everything in me not to go to jail. <laughs> Man, getting caught in action and lying is crazy. It's like, crazy. Like, That's insane. It's right. Like, what I you see say? you. Like, I what see you playing this day. Now no. you got me over here finna turn into a ninja on your ass. Because, bitch, why you lying? Mm-hmm. 
And I already know the truth too, but you I just need you to tell me. I, I got the proof. I just need you to tell me so I can so I can really just solidify. So a liar is worse than a cheater. Yes. I no. mean, at the end of the day, a cheater is a liar. A what cheater is a liar. Oh, God. Matter of mm-hmm. fact, they yeah. both play hand in hand. They both play hand in hand. They definitely What's play hand in hand. Well, the difference is the word, but yeah. you have to, you, you lie to cheat. Like, you're literally, because if you're cheating, you're going behind my back. back. You're not being honest. Honest about you're what you're trying about to do. what you're doing, where you're going. If I were to ask you, even if you yeah. weren't, say, say you didn't, for example. Say you didn't even say nothing, and you just so happened to cheat. You still did behind my back. Mm-hmm. And if I were to ask you what you just did last night, or yesterday, or today, you're, you're probably going to tell me a different answer. I highly doubt you're going to be bold enough to be like, I was just fucking. Like, what? You... Mm-hmm. You're not yeah, gonna do that. Very rarely. Exactly. And then I had a bad habit of if I looked through the phone, I used to not even say because if it, it wasn't that big of a deal, like it was some little shit like flirting or some shit, I'd be mad and I'd make a post, I'd be shady instead of just speaking on it. Yeah. So now you gotta you come to me. You have to come to me, and then I'd be like, what? Oh, uh, y'all have you brought it up, bitch? Because I got something to say instead of just keeping it a bug and just facing it. Like, so who the fuck is this? And mm-hmm. but. I looked for something, and if uh, when you look what your boy finds you, yeah. so I was already looking for some drama, and I already knew I was gonna find it. Mm-hmm. Like that feeling, sometimes it's that feeling, but mm-hmm. also I know your patterns, so it's like, oh, it's yeah. some up, it's some up. You, but when you look for it, and like you said, you, some we stay. So what is the purpose? Cause you look at it like ball. I'm trying to tell you, teach you, my, teach you boundaries. Mm-hmm. But if you're gonna stay, then play ball. That's yeah. how I feel. Yep. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna communicate, and I communicate with you, and I tell you not to do something, then in my mind, you, if and you both are trying to do it. Because I will leave at that point. Because I'm not trying to cheat. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to be you. But if at this point y'all have this agreement, y'all have an open relationship, play ball then. But don't be hurt if I'm doing the exact same thing you're doing. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't want to do that. I don't like to share. I, I don't theory. even want no polygamous relationship. Some people, half of y'all can't even afford it and y'all have it. It makes no sense. But I digress. Ooh, that's a whole nother. Um, mm-hmm. I have a theory before we wrap up. And I can speak on this myself, like, in the, mm, okay, I've never been the one to, like, stay just because, like, it's just situations. Like, it was, like, stuff that was, like, long distance, so it, that's why I didn't stay. But I say this to say, like, there seems to be an element of drama in, like, all of you all story that I'm hearing. And even in my own experiences, there is drama. Mm. And I, it comes to me, to, it, and, like, it's not the drama, but it's the fact that y'all stay after the bullshit happened. So it, it almost comes to me, right? And this is no, like... Um, cause we all grow and we all like have our notions of what love is and then actually loving somebody is hard, right? Mm-hmm. But you all stay right after the, this bullshit happens and it, it begs me to question and a guest said on a podcast, like, kind of like she doesn't know, she doesn't know that the love isn't real if there isn't some kind of turmoil, some kind of, um, mm-hmm. chaos or some drama. Have y'all ever been in a relationship where there's like no chaos, no drama, like at all, like nothing? Mm-mm. Anybody? Um, if that was the case, we'd probably still be together. I feel like um, when you are raised off, sometimes I feel like the relationships that I've encountered, we were both coming from trauma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is what causes turmoil. Yeah. Sometimes, of course, you're going to stay because shit, my mama did this to me, or my mm-hmm. dad did this to me, or my sibling, or mm-hmm. my ex did the same thing. So, but and I, I know you're going to change. Yeah, it ain't going to change. Or I same. know that yeah. shit, I don't feel that shit, but in reality, you do. Yeah. Because it's trauma. You felt that before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you feel like, I can eat that. Like, that's little shit. But in reality, yeah. it's important. So you've always had a relationship to... where there was some, some some sort of... Well, no. Mm-hmm. I would say... That, Romantic but, with a partner. Right. Some of your dating. I don't want to necessarily say turmoil. It was just that we weren't seeing eye to eye. Like, that's still, we weren't, yeah. Well, not turmoil, but like I said, not, not eye to eye. We didn't have... Like, it was like we're dating. So I, would, I don't want to even say a relationship because we weren't dating that long. Yeah. But for me, it was more like... Yeah, discarded dating. We're, we're not, not being dating. common. Like, we're not, there's, like, after a while, because I'm the one, I, I can easily adapt sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm the one throwing out the ideas and you just going along with it. Mm-hmm. After a while, it's just like, damn, are you going to think of something or do yeah. you want to do this? I don't want you to change who you are just <laughs> yeah, because you want to just do it. Or you, I can't go, I can't do something mm-hmm. and you want me to do it and I can't. So yeah. it's a, it, that's, that's when it's like, okay, we have to part ways because it's not like, uh, it's not fuck you it's just shit we mm-hmm. and this shit her ass was too she was doing too much or his ass was doing too much or her, they were boring or you know yeah. things like that like it's but not doing too much but like physically like, having their own life and you want to you know mm-hmm. not be like like that or um like age difference like i was sheltered 
after a certain point, then I'm able to come outside. So that was the difference. Because, like, you, you're a guy. Of course, you can go outside and, and be out till 3 in the morning. I, my mama didn't play that yeah. shit. Yeah. So I can't do that. Mm -mm. So that's when it's a clash. Because it's like, oh, but that was good. Because evidently you weren't meant. Because you probably respect mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. If shit, your mama, you can't go out, all right. I love you though. I'm gonna see you later. Type <laughs> shit. That's how it's supposed to be. It shouldn't be. Oh man, this bitch born. She can't even be out yeah. till three a.m. First of all, we're young, so mm. it shouldn't even matter. What mm -hmm. the fuck is out at three a.m.? Mom always told me ain't shit open past midnight. But hotels and legs. Oh, but in reality, shit, we adults now, and she was Bars. lying because the clubs be lit. And good. <laughs> yeah. be bust. What? What? what she? Could you repeat that? Mm -hmm. Um, after midnight, there's nothing open but hotels and legs. That's what mom was saying. But the nightclub be a hotel the nightclub. and legs. <laughs> so Damn, like, whole time, it's cause they be old. getting down. You, ooh, fuck. Shh. Okay, I guess. Hotel I on guess the top mom. floor, you feel me, club on the basement. That's, Shit. Oh, that's wild. And legs all in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So the nightclub is the... Turn to juke party. They got an after hour. They have after hours. 6 a.m. Yep, it's bad. Damn, Damn. the sun just... Yes, that's To the sun rise. The sun beat you To the sun rise. Yeah, the sun beating you home. See, let's just but, nowadays... But back to Kay, real quick. I, I, I want to get that from Kay. Have you ever been in like a no turmoil, no no drama, no nothing relationship? Um, and but but fell in love though. That's the important thing. Shit. Fell in love, but without all of that. No okay. drama, no like intense, like trauma and shit or like. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this relationship I'm in now probably the most calmest relationship I've ever been in. I kind of like, want to change my answer. I'm super now. calm. Like I Ooh. I really don't I have much now. of <laughs> like the problems that I used to have to deal with. I don't really have them type of problems no more with this person. So I feel like right now everything is going good. Almost six months strong. So. Yes, we're all in mm. comprehension phases right that now. Does that 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 because it's so calm. Yeah, is that kind of what's making you not want to like maybe not do too much or go through phones or yeah. like mm -hmm. why 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 does the calmness make you not want to um sometimes dig too much. You said what? You said what? The calm is uh, well, sometimes. Like you're saying that it's calm now, right? Mm -hmm. But then you also saying you stopped doing a lot of stuff you used to do. Yeah. Are you doing that so you don't mess up the calmness? Um, not even that. Um, I feel like I'm at a phase where I'm not going to go look for trouble. Um, whatever is supposed to come to me will come to me again. Um. It's not things that's giving me signs like, oh, I should be going through their phone. Or I should be um, on this person doing this, this, and that. Or I should be checking this and this and that. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'm a, I'm a stalker. But I love watching my man. So that, that's this is me. <laughs> but so I don't stalking mean, socials and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's not like I'm looking for something. I just be wanting to be Can't in his world. Me. I just want to be in his world. <laughs> and, and, and listen men love that and i'm sure your guy can attest like we love a woman who's like in our corner really admires us it's like the ultimate feeling like it's like mm -hmm. she on my team i could do anything i saw shooting stars by lebron like his girl savannah she been with him like since yeah they was, yeah i've seen you that know too. what i'm saying like uh -huh. now she's like the epitome of like kind of you don't see her on the media you don't see him like public too much mm -hmm. but it's like that's the ideal like you want that, like y'all. See, me and Matt is different though. See, I'm the public eye. I'm the one who bring him outside. He's the calm one. <laughs> but <laughs> even though me, me and him, we do the same thing. Oof, we do music and cool. everything too. So again, I'm just I'm kind of the more outgoing one in the relationship, which is kind of like a different, you know. But I feel like yeah, I think like he gonna be probably yeah in the media, but I'm he gonna still be front and center. <laughs> I wanted to add something too, cause I just thought about it. So. I've noticed that the relationships that I've been in with women are more, um, Tumultuous. like drama mm -hmm. and like messy and toxic. For the first time in since I was in fucking middle school, I dated a guy recently uh, this year, and I can say that was a completely different like a completely different uh, relationship than it was with a girl. Mm -hmm. um, with girls, I'm given more so of the guy type of rule, and automatically, auto, yeah. And like with him, like it was calm. There was no real drama. No, I didn't feel like I had like no tr like I couldn't trust or anything. Like I felt like a girl. Like I was at ease. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I would say I feel like relate dating girls is more of a toxic and yeah. 
traumatic kind of yeah, thing. I, I feel you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that. You did it, girl, soon? Uh, I've had my fun with females for sure. I ain't gonna Have lie. you dated, though? Dated? Mm, we was young. I was just say I, I did catch feelings for one, though, but she's my friend now. Type shit. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like... I feel like as we get older, <laughs> we start to appreciate what really matters. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And honestly... Shout out to Rich in real life, because I think she's getting to that, because I've known her for, y'all don't know who I'm talking about, but basically I've known her when she was like a little younger and she's grown up and I've just seen her mentality change. Mm -hmm. She used to be on some, ah, nah, nah, but now she's on some, don't nobody fuck with my piece. And I'm just like, yeah, she gets it. Like, she got the same delivery, but different agenda. Same delivery, but different agenda. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, but I just like, I get it, because she came the same way, like, Look, she was like, don't fuck with me, don't fuck me, because I'll fuck you up. But now it's like, don't fuck with my piece, because like I ain't even on that. But if I have to get on that, I'll get on that. Because <laughs> not everything is worth dying for. No, it but ain't, my though. Piece or though. my piece, yeah. for sure. But, hey. My piece, though? Mm. Mm, I don't play about my piece. Yeah. What Medea say? Peace be still. Peace be still. <laughs> be still. Yeah. Peace, Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. No, for real. This has been amazing. It no, really has. Real, it has. I really yeah. appreciated this whole. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. This was it was fun. so nice to meet you, Ebony. Yeah, it was nice to meet y'all too. Oh yeah, and I'm glad you took that hood off. We like we like your pretty face. No, <laughs> seriously. No, it's just cold outside. Nah, it's yeah, just you see me coming with my hood. Yeah, I go, damn shit. She was up in Chicago shit with the hoodie down. I had my hood on. Hey, bro. <laughs> She, I have my semi hood, but y'all already know we, we I'm, I'm downtown. Late, the I'm man with the arms out and it's 60, downtown. 50 degrees down here. Listen, it's crazy. I don't be feeling like getting dressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate clothes. <laughs> At least you can wear like that. I really Listen, do. Listen, flip flops. But I hate being cold. I mean, can I lie? But you're on the same way. You took the shoes off immediately. I did take the shoes off. <laughs> I, I need to start. Maybe I need to. People always ask me, like, shoes on, shoes off. And I'd be like, I don't care. But maybe maybe I need to have more culture. Maybe I need to be more cultured and start making niggas take Next time we're going to be sitting the crisscross applesauce around the table. Oh, God. Sitting on, sitting all on the all pillows. Yeah. yeah. In the circle. Yep. Man, what's that? Um, That's some, um, what's that movie called? It was a TV show about, like, magical witches. Mm. Uh, Twitches? No. It's Charm? before. Charm. Charm. That's what it was. That's before that's everybody's thing. time, though. How y'all know? I, 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 I love me. Charm. I'm 24. It's, it's almost before my time, too. I love Charm. No. Charm. That's, the, no. that's what I was Charm trying to say, but I said Twitches. Like a dummy. You know, that's I love that's Phoebe. I love Charm. Yes. Charm just I still watch the damn series, y'all. I'm so serious. Like They got a new one, but I ain't watch it. I got to get I got to get up there. You know what else hit? I started from the beginning and start over, so I can remember everything. Um, but... You listen, this has been a great episode and Amazing. I hope everybody who tapped in on the live, who's finna tap in when I drop this episode, I hope what y'all get from this is that life is what you make of it. Yes, and sure. that goes to your relationships as well. You can cultivate and grow that seed, but you gotta water it. You gotta put it in some sun. You know what I'm saying? You got to give it fertilizer. It takes effort on your part. And then you gotta communicate. The communication is what's gonna unite, which is, or it's gonna divide if it's not meant for you, mm -hmm. right? But then when you don't communicate, that's where you allow space for confusion to settle in. Mm -hmm. And there's this thing in business, they say that a confused buyer is a buyer that, that don't give you his money. Mm -hmm. So if someone is confused, mm -hmm. they ain't buying. Hell no. It's not like a maybe. It's like if I don't, if I can't make sense of this shit, I ain't spending my money. Because how did this charge more with this? And it is at this point, yeah, I know you're not paying. Too many questions. It's, <laughs> it's, not like, it's like it's not making sense. A quick pitch. Because I'm like, wait, what? So what do I do again? And how much is this? I'm not tapping. It's like you get catfished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't do that ass no more. But like, you feel me? They coming up a few feet extra shorter. You know what I'm saying? Few. And well, listen, that is not I'm all you, about that's AI. love your body, but you don't put AI. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like, man, that ain't you. Mm -hmm. Listen, Fucking so it's like, it's, it's ringing too many bells, it's making me question shit, we gonna have to call it quits, but yeah, without further ado, how can we stay in touch with you all, and what final words do you all have for the Trial Show? Woo -woo. Okay, <clears throat> again, you can follow me on Instagram at K-A-Y-C-A-P underscore 24, that's K-Cap 24, y'all can follow me on all streaming platforms, I sing and I rap too as well, so yeah. Um, um, what final words do you shit. have? Final words, um, again, um, manifest the visions that you see and never give up on your dreams. Follow them. I love it. Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Indica India. Hey, India. Um, I also am a rapper. Mm -hmm. I just dropped an album mm -hmm. called My Diabolical Dialogue. 
and it's out on all streaming platforms. Also, you can follow my Instagram at i n d i c a underscore i n d i a. So Indica India, find me everywhere. But what I want to take from this is gratitude because this was an amazing podcast. I love all the auras. Thank you all. But also to stay focused and always cater to yourself first because if you don't take care of yourself, how the fuck are you going to help others? So stay focused. Always follow your first mind and love yourself. Uh, I'm Ebony V. Hey, Ebony. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at EBSVAZ. Um, my final words would be Thank you. Uh, to surround yourself with around people who value and appreciate you and you matter. Your feelings matter, matter and yeah, always surround yourself around people who value you. And with that being said, stay hydrated, <laughs> stay breathing in. I don't even have that good ass oxygen. And most importantly, most importantly, stay basic. <laughs>